got caught out on the five minute videos in a room that I don't normally teach in. So I'll have to keep an eye on that timer, which you can't see because I've moved it out of the way. Yeah, so you've got to be careful because what people do is they do the four divided by two first and then they square it. So they get the order wrong with what they're supposed to do. So I've got that one there. So uh, if I expand the brackets, I've got three feet plus two minus 16 feet squared. And then if you look at the question, it's supposed to be a plus. It says number feet feet squared. So my final answer is two plus three feet minus 16 feet squared. There's one for you to have a go at. Is that working? Here we go. There's one for you to have a go at, so here's the answer to it. So I delete isn't working, that's not ideal. Delete. And then try it again. Oh, I'll move it, there you go. So the feet is there, and the one minus a half, that's so square it, and then half it. There. So that's okay, so you've got to be careful now when it's the five minutes. Right, so next page. So similar idea for you, we're going to change each one. So the sine theta becomes a theta. The cos theta becomes one minus a half of theta squared. But then that's multiplied by cos two theta, which is one minus a half of two theta all squared. So I've got theta plus one minus a half of theta squared. You can see that on the because the board ain't quite matching up right. And then one minus the square it is a four feet a squared, and then a half it is a two feet a squared. There. So if I expand the brackets, so I've got feet minus two feet cubed, that does the feet. One minus two feet squared, that does the one. Make the cube look like a cube. And then I've got the minus a half feet a squared multiplying through. Uh, that's going to be plus feet to the four. Then if I tidy it up, uh, it's like a, oops, got a one. I've got a feet. I've got a minus two feet. I've got a minus five over two feet a squared. Can't see that kind of. The board doesn't quite line up in the room I'm in. And then the feet are to the four. Now they'll only ask you, or they tend to only ask you for, a quadratic approximation. So we're not fussed about that. So we just kind of want up to the quadratic term. Quadratic approximation. So there's one there for you to have a go at. Well, I'm doing it. So if I move it, there we go. Uh, there's another example here. So third example, keeping an eye on my timer. So it says feet is a small angle in radians. So it's screaming at me small angle approximation. So I've got a 21. The tan feet becomes seven lots of feet. The 20 cos theta becomes 20 lots of 1 minus a half theta squared. And that's all over, so I've got my cos theta, all over the 1 plus 2 theta. So if I expand the top, I've got a 21 plus a 7 theta minus 20 plus 10 theta squared all over 1 plus 2 feet. So I've got a 1 plus 7 feet plus 10 feet squared all over a 1 plus 2 feet. Now look at the answer, it's 1 plus 5 feet. So do we think that the top line is going to factorise? It kind of makes sense that it would, wouldn't it? Unless I've done my maths wrong. So I think it will factor it. So if you're using the 1 plus 2 feet as a chi, then to get the 1 it's a 1, to get the 10 feet squared it's a 5 feet. So that would be 1 plus 7 feet plus 10 feet squared. So that's perfect, that factorises.